Have you ever wondered what hoarding disorder is? This is a condition marked by a persistent difficulty in discarding or parting with possessions due to an intense need to save them. The individual suffering from hoarding disorder experiences a deep-seated distress at the thought of getting rid of items, no matter how insignificant or valueless they may seem to others. This overwhelming need to hoard can lead to an excessive accumulation of items that disrupts their ability to effectively use their living or workspaces. Imagine not being able to sit on your sofa because it's piled high with newspapers from the past decade or not being able to cook a meal because your kitchen is overrun with obsolete gadgets. This is the reality for people with hoarding disorder. Recognized by the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, Text Revision or DSM-5-TR, hoarding disorder is a serious and often debilitating condition. Now that we understand what hoarding disorder is, let's delve into its causes and symptoms. What causes hoarding disorder and how can we recognize its symptoms? This question often puzzles many. The causes of hoarding disorder are multifaceted, stemming from genetic predispositions, environmental factors and even brain injuries. It's not an overnight occurrence but a gradual process often kicking off in early adolescence and progressively worsening with age. The symptoms, as per the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 5th edition, text revision, DSM-5-TR, are quite distinct. Persistent difficulty in discarding or parting with possessions, regardless of their actual value, is a hallmark. This leads to cluttered, chaotic living spaces that may be so overcrowded they can no longer be used for their intended purpose. Social and occupational impairment also becomes evident as the hoarding behavior escalates. But remember, it's not just about the clutter. The distress or impairment in functioning is a key aspect of the disorder, often causing significant disruption to daily life. Identifying the symptoms of hoarding disorder is the first step towards seeking help. To illustrate, let's take the case of John, a 60-year-old man with hoarding disorder. For the past 30 years, John's life has been consumed by his growing collection of newspapers. Each day brings a new addition, and the thought of parting with even one is unbearable for him. This collection, once a harmless habit, now fills his home to the brim, causing significant distress and impairing his social life. John's story highlights the real-life implications of hoarding disorder. We've learned a lot about hoarding disorder today, but remember, understanding is the first step to compassion and help. Welcome to our channel, a space dedicated to unearthing the intricacies of the human mind. Here, we delve into a variety of psychological topics, shedding light on conditions like hoarding disorder and more. If you found this video insightful, do subscribe and share it to spread awareness. Thank you for taking the time to learn about hoarding disorder. Together, we can make a difference.